the seven realms of love. The first realm of love, the physical realm. I love you. I love the look of you. I have got to have you in my life. I can't live without you. I am desperate for you. You are everything I have dreamed and more. I am aroused by you, and therefore, cannot live without you. You are perfect. I am yours and you are mine. You have no fault. I cannot think of any reason that our love will not last. I want to own you, marry you, possess you. I give up my life for you. I am infatuated with you. I know this is highly charged. I am blinded by this love. I will throw away my dreams, my passions and my ambitions just to be with you. I also know, as people have warned me, that this love, this passion, this fire is unsustainable. But I am blind. I am blinded by my emotion and the chemistry that rushes through my veins. I have been warned, but my life was hell before I met you, and now it is heaven. Oh, even for just this one day, this love, this fire, this mindlessness, is worth it. The passion is physical, the drives are uncontrollable. The problem is that it can't last. It's life-shattering when it breaks and there is really no way to avoid it. This is the lowest most primal level of love and subsequently the most extreme. The second realm of love, my mind. I love you. I think like you. Our dreams are so similar. I believe what you believe and I think what you think. I know we are right in our way of life. We are on common ground. We live to this code. And this code is ours. We agree. We like the same paintings. We like the same holidays. We are of the same mind. We are in love. I have told people that they should be like you. They should be good and they should be happy. I have told brothers and friends and family what they should be doing. Now I have met you. There is no need. Because we agree. We agree the world should be as we dream it should be. This level of love is so intellectual. It is based on ideals. If you fit my picture I love you. If you don't I hate you. This is religious love. Righteous and conditional. There are so many expectations at this level one of the two partners has to be submissive and therefore inevitably become resentful. This is the typical, western, good citizen, relationship. A perfect life. The third realm of love, emotion. I love you. I cry at the thought of you. I write these poems of love for you. Poems that express this romance, this beauty. This feeling so deep inside me. From the moment I met you I knew I loved you. I felt it deep in my core. I am sad without you. I am angry if I can't be with you. I feel good around you. You make me happy. I want you near me all the time because it makes me feel so good. I need you in my life. You are my sun, my morning, my every breath. You are the dew on my skin and the sun in my heart. I breathe you.
and these roses, this gift, this meal, this wine, this touch on your shoulder, sends shivers down my spine. I hold your photograph close to my heart and I celebrate you with happiness. I wait for your call. I am sorry for my reaction when you came home late. I am sorry for being angry. I can't help it. I feel so wonderful and I feel so vulnerable. I feel you when I walk. So my love. May this feeling, this romance, last forever between us. I am sorry about those swings in my mood. They are totally unexplainable. Oh, my love, be mine forever. The joy is uncontrollable. The surrender is complete. The love feels merged and soulful. This level of love is mesmerizing. Two lovers will fall into each other's arms and the romance is wonderful. Great holidays and great idea. Great romantic nights and more. However, emotion has no substance. The same emotion that gets a couple into this love is the same emotion that burns them out or attracts them to others. Emotional people cannot hold integrity. Emotions are environmental reactions. Never trust emotion or emotional people. The fourth realm of love, the heart. I love you. Whether you come or go in my life, I love you. No matter whether you are well or sick, for better, for worse, for richer or poorer, all the days of my life, I will love you. I will love you no matter what happens. I will love you. I know I love you. You and I are in love. It is destiny. We are friends for life. I love you. I want you to be happy, my love. Yes. Why don't you travel and see the world? Why not move to Africa and work? I will always be here for you. I want the family to be happy. I care so much for you. I want to hold you close, keep you warm. I want your life to be wonderful, and even more wonderful because of me. I am happy that you are moving on from me. Yes, we are close friends. We have achieved a wonderful depth to our love, so much so, that you feel like my sister, your brother or something. I want you to be happy. And our friendship is vital. We can work together, be friends together forever. I am a bit sorry that the romance went out of our relationship. That we are such wonderful friends is amazing, but I really hope that we would stay passionate. We grew away from that passion we had when we first met. Maybe we should have spent more time playing. I love you always, my love and my friend, forever. The beauty of this love is that it is honoring. It honors individuality. It honors self. This love is based on independence. It is the domain of the hurt, the afraid. The self-created ego master who claims spiritual or self-actualization. People in this level of love are forever lonely, in spite of being convinced they are able to love unconditionally. Here there is simply no surrender. The fifth realm of love, devotion. I love you. 
Deep in my heart I have known that one day I would find you. I knew that there was a lover, somewhere, whose life mission, whose life passion would weave with mine to create something magnificent on this earth. We are like two musicians whose life purpose apart is quadrupled in value together. We will serve our mission in life together. You bring gifts and I bring gifts and with these together, our highest calling will be to share these with the world. I love you deeply. I celebrate all the four realms of love with you. And now, this, our purpose in life. This is more than me. This is more than you. This is sacred. Our purpose together. We can do what we love in life and share that journey together. Thank you for opening your heart and your life for me. We are bound together by more than a contract of intimacy and love. We are bound by our commitment to something bigger than both of us. I devote my love to you. I know in this way we will give what we are born to give. My love is eternal. Thank you. This relationship appears to lack the physical grunt and pump of the infatuated lovers. But these two people love each other because they live and work and share the journey of life together. They need to be careful to make sure they don't drift through life and forget those lower levels of love that are required as a foundation for this one. The sixth realm of love, inspired. I love you. O oh stillness of the night, let my mind be calm, my soul be content, let my love become one with yours. We were two. We are one. We bind at all levels, from the physical and romantic to the emotional and fantastic. But most of all, we bind in light. I walk with you, no matter where you go. I sleep with you, no matter what you know. I am with you, always, awake or asleep. This is my eternal love. More than a pledge, it is real. I know your breath. I know your heart. I am not away. I am in your thought, in your realm. We are one, and we are bound. Know me, my love, and you will know you. Dive each day through the emotion and challenge, and any time you choose, you will find me. Choose love and I am here. It is one step beyond, yet more real than they know. Let me hold you without arms. Let me touch you without sound. See me without eyes. I am you. We are one. In love. There is no me, I or you in this level of love. It is a rare relationship that reaches this level. Too many distractions, drawn down to lower realms by the ego, by the fear and search for God. This level of love is only for those ready to throw themselves into something sacred, and make their relationship the pinnacle of their spiritual and religious journey. Religious and guru-worshipping people cannot reach this level of love and relationship. The Seventh Realm Unconditional Love I love you. Emptiness I cannot know time. I love you. Emptiness I cannot know space. You are not in form, although I know your love. You are not in sound, although I hear your call. We are one soul, one love, one now. Beyond the realms where voices speak, 
we are bound more strong than lovers who weep. We sit without mind, we sit in that time and we know each other. I know you when I see mountains so high, the lake so still, the wind so kind. I know you when nature reminds me, I am loved, I am loved, I am loved. I look to the stars and there you are. I look to the moon, it's not so far. I look into nothing, to the beauty of all, and there you are. Not so far at all. Invisible one, I can't see you in the beauty of the simplest world. Never so far. Never so far. The third mind, the soul, the human spirit knows no sense of self, other, right or wrong. It is mesmerized by the beauty of existence and hence it is beyond the boundary of distraction. The glimpse of the infinite is found in this realm of love. Lovers rise for seconds to this place in orgasm. The sacred relationship holds that as its most potent fruit. <laughs>